Have you ever had a nightmare where you're stranded in the middle of the ocean, unable to see the bottom below? Many people have, but what terrors really await in that eerie dark expanse that reaches depths of almost seven miles at its deepest? From hideous creatures that boggle the mind to sculptures shrouded in mystery, let's take a look at some of the most terrifying things found in the deep sea. Hatchet fish. If you want to know what life around a mile below the waves is like, just take a look at the narrow face of the deep sea hatchet fish. The gaping mouth, bulging eyes, and bizarrely thin body of this tortured looking fish have all evolved to adjust to the pitch black depths. Those globular eyes are angled upward, allowing it to search out food falling from above and their disproportionately large size helps capture any minimal light in its incredibly dark habitat. Hatchetfish certainly need these kinds of advantages considering they make their homes as deep as 4,500 feet below the surface, where light is almost non-existent. Any prey unlucky enough to be spotted by those bulbous eyes is then snapped up in that grotesque underbite. Even though they look monstrous, hatchetfish only measure about six inches in length, so if it's any comfort, one could fit in between the tip of your thumb and index finger. All that said, it could still certainly take a painful nibble with its razor sharp teeth. While its size occasionally makes it easy prey, it does have a remarkable ability for avoiding predators. The slender shape and reflective scales of its body are offset by counter illumination camouflage, a type of bioluminescent glow that mimics the color and light around them. It reduces the visibility of the hatchet fish's silhouette, effectively rendering them invisible to any hungry eyes looking up from below. But with a face like that, I kinda wish they were invisible to all eyes. Sea Spider Arachnophobes, get ready to never step foot in the ocean again. This is the sea spider. Despite its name and eight-legged appearance, it's not actually an arachnid. It belongs to a group of arthropods called pycnogonids. Some pycnogonid specimens are able to grow up to 12 spindly, nightmare-fueling legs, while others can develop leg spans of almost 2.3 feet long. But as hideously unsettling as their shambling, long-legged frames already are, the way they devour their prey will really send shivers down your spine. Using a long proboscis, an appendage that's somewhat like a mouth, nose, and arm all blended together, the sea spider sucks its prey dry from the inside out. Sea spiders can live in crushing depths of up to 16,000 feet, or three miles deep, where pressures can reach as much as an astounding three tons per square inch. Understandably, you might wonder how the sea spider can survive under all that pressure. The answer is even creepier than those spindly legs. For starters, like most deep sea creatures, sea spiders have evolved bodies that are free from any excess cavities that might collapse under pressure. They also absorb oxygen directly through their legs, which eliminates the need for lungs like ours. But weirdest of all, these creepy arthropods pump blood and fluids around their body using contractions in their guts rather than their hearts. Their circulation process extends to their internal organs, which are stretched and pulled throughout their long legs to suit their needs. A series of specific muscle movements keep the whole grotesque show pumping for your viewing pleasure. Great, I never wanted to sleep again anyway. Deep Sea Feast As cute as some octopi may seem, it's easy to forget that they're actually savage carnivores with powerful beaks capable of cracking through bones. But nothing shows that terrifying trade off better than this footage of a consortium of octopi feasting on the long dead skeletal remains of a baleen whale. And they're not alone. More than 4,000 feet under California's idyllic waves, an exploratory dive using remote operated vehicles revealed the remains of this 16 foot whale carcass. In an event known as whale fall, the whale's body drifted to the seafloor after its death, providing an abundance of food for the critters of depths. The lure of decaying meat attracted a host of scavengers like eel pouts, which stripped the skeleton of its blubber, alongside various types of shark. That's not to mention that mysterious brown fuzz, which is actually a gathering of appropriately named bone-eating worms, which suck the fat from the whale's bones. This is one meal you definitely don't want to interrupt. I'll have my blubber to go, thanks. Deep Sea Chimera 
more commonly known as the ghost shark, you can easily see that there's something spooky going on with the deep sea chimera. Even though different species of this dead-eyed fish have been known to grow almost six feet long, very little is actually known about them. They're incredibly rare and hard to observe in their natural habitat because they live so deep in the sea, between one and 1.3 miles underwater. While the markings on its head give it a Frankenstein monsters kind of appearance, the real nightmare fuel can be found in its mouth. Located just below the snout and eyes, this terrifying face within a face is made up of the shark's two water-breathing nostrils and a weirdly straight set of teeth. Researchers believe this row of teeth has developed to make feeding on mollusks, crabs, and other seafloor-dwelling invertebrates much easier, allowing for gripping and crushing with ease. Whatever its function may be, that mouth, and heck, the ghost shark in general, is pure nightmare fuel. Does the deep sea chimera freak you out as much as it does me? Let me know in the comments. Threadfin Snailfish You'd be forgiven for thinking that this thing is a demon tadpole, or that someone stuck a tail on a sorcerer's sea-dwelling pet skull. But in reality, this eerie creature is a threadfin snailfish. Measuring around six inches in length, it can survive at depths of almost 10,000 feet, making it one of the most resilient little fishies in the world. The large pores perforating most of its face may look like the aftermath of a bad acne breakout, but they're actually known as sensory hollows. These help the fish detect movement and pressure changes in its deep and dark environment. Those razor-like fins lining the top and bottom of its body enable it to wind smoothly and silently through the dark without alerting nearby predators. While many individuals of the species are gray or black in color, others have translucent white skin, meaning their muscles and internal organs are clearly visible. But if you ask me, I think we've already seen enough of this terrifying fish for one day. Stonefish there are several things you might expect to find walking along the seafloor, like crabs and even octopi, but what about fish? Specifically, this terrifying looking stonefish. Using crab-like appendages beneath its body, this hefty fish that can measure up to 15 inches in length claws its way along the ocean floor in search of prey. The rough looking exterior of its body blends expertly into patches of coral and rocky reefs, making it a perfect camouflage for ambushing its next meal. With a huge jaw and powerful mouth, they can suck in nearby prey and swallow them whole. But that's not the worst of it. These petrifying predators are also the world's most venomous fish, with the venom in their spines being able to kill an adult human in less than an hour. I almost feel sorry for the predator that tries to mess with this prickly horror. If you ask me, this clip is the strongest and only argument in favor of nuking the oceans. <laughs> Atlantic wolf fish. Is it a wolf? Is it a fish? Or is it a straight up nightmare? Characterized by its large jagged fangs, the Atlantic wolf fish has one of the most terrifying sets of teeth in the deep blue sea. These toothy tears can reach five feet in length and can be found lurking in crevices along the rocky seafloor as deep as 1600 feet below the surface. In the colder waters of the North Atlantic Ocean, the wolffish uses those powerful teeth to hunt other fish and mollusks in their vicinity. Once snared in the protruding front teeth, flesh is punctured, shells are crushed, and escape becomes almost impossible. Even more disturbing is the fact that the wolffish's throat is also lined with sharp teeth to finish off and grind up any stragglers on the way down. And when the going gets tough, studies have shown that they'll even resort to cannibalism of their own species. While wolffish aren't typically considered dangerous to humans, they have been known to snap their teeth to defend themselves. So in case you were considering poking your fingers near the unwelcoming mouth of this famed cannibal, probably best not to. Sea Lampreys while a mouth with this many teeth may look like it belongs to a demon shark from the eighth dimension, the reality isn't much more comforting. This is the mouth of a sea lamprey, a parasitic eel-like fish found in waters ranging from the Atlantic Ocean to the Black Sea. Lampreys can reach lengths of up to 40 inches and each comes with a jawless and perfectly rounded mouth, which can act as a spiky suction cup. Combined with the circular rows upon rows of horn teeth, they use this suction cup-like mouth to latch onto larger animals and feed off them by ingesting their blood. Yep, just like a deep sea vampire. But they didn't become this monstrous overnight. 
These nope ropes have been around for over 340 million years and have survived at least four major extinction events. Their longevity as a species may in part be thanks to their ability to survive at depths ranging from shoreline shallows to over 13,000 feet below the surface. While lamprey typically don't pose much of a threat to humans, beyond a painful pinch while they figure out that you're not food, it's another story for their prey. Secreting an enzyme that stops blood from clotting, they're known to kill smaller fish by slowly draining them of their insides. While their usual victims are a little smaller, lamprey have been known to feed on whales. And with bravery like that, I'm not completely convinced they wouldn't try their luck with the juicy leg of a swimmer. So keep your eyes peeled. Magna Pena Squid When researchers at an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico sent an underwater camera into the ocean depths in 2007, they didn't expect to stumble across this ominous monster. Found drifting almost one and a half miles beneath the waves, this ghostly beast is in fact the Magna Pena Squid. It's also known as the Big Fin Squid thanks to the disproportionately large wing-like fins that make up almost 90% of its body's mantle but it's those terrifyingly long tentacles that steal the show. Ranging from 23 to 30 feet long, and with bizarre elbow-like right angle bends, their tentacles make them stand out as a truly unique, alien-looking form in the ocean depths. At about the same length as an American school bus, its tentacles are, unsurprisingly, almost the longest of all squid species. It's theorized that the purpose of these trailing arms is to catch fish and detect prey moving along the ocean floor, although this has not yet been caught on camera. That said, I don't envy whoever is the first to capture footage of this creature gorging itself on a meal. Watching it glide along, the creature certainly walks a fine line between creepy and beautiful, but there's no doubt that I'd rather watch it from behind a screen than in person. Underwater Rescue Back in 2016, a photo began circulating on the internet supposedly showing one of the most disturbing deep sea snapshots of all time. In the image, far below the waves, a scuba diver can be seen pulling the body of a man out of a sunken cockpit. To the shock of viewers, it seemed the body had been there for so long that its hands had rotted away. But hold off on that heart attack for a minute because this image isn't exactly what it seems. A little digging online reveals that this supposed corpse is actually just a dummy used by an underwater rescue unit. Mannequins and sunken planes like this are often used to help train rescue divers in bodies of water all over the world. Similar scenes can be observed in this footage of a dive from Portage Quarry, Ohio. Covered in all manner of sea life, the submerged dummy certainly takes on a creepy corpse-like quality. While the original image is certainly a lot creepier when left unexplained, there's no denying, fish-bitten mannequins are the last thing you want to discover when exploring submerged sites. Frilled Shark Even though the deep-sea frilled shark is named after the strangely fluffy appearance of its gills, they're hardly the most terrifying creature of this prehistoric remnant. Having evolved over 95 million years, the 300 trident-shaped teeth housed within 25 rows give this abyssal shark one of the most disturbing smiles in the entire ocean. Frilled sharks have been observed dwelling as deep as almost a mile below the water surface, and in this dark environment, they can grow upwards of six and a half feet long. As it winds through the sea, it's believed to hunt by tracking along the seabed, using its highly adapted senses to detect the slightest movements, helping it find prey. Then when it does, it lunges like a snake, hooking prey in its teeth and making escape nearly impossible. This enables it to swallow prey up to half its size whole, including squid, fish, and other smaller sharks. Speaking of deep-dwelling sharks, the frilled shark shares its specialized hunting adaptation of inwardly hooked teeth with its cousin, the equally terrifying goblin shark. This is yet another deep-sea terror, but with the unique ability to launch its jaws forward to catch its prey. So between the extending mouth of the goblin shark and the 300 teeth of the frilled shark, which do you think is more disturbing? Let me know in the comments. Sunken Xenomorph If you ever decided to go scuba diving in Russia's Black Sea off the coast of Anapa, you could be in for a terrifying encounter. At least at first. Back in 2017, sculptures of the world-famous xenomorphs from the Alien movie franchise were sunk by Anapa divers in an effort to draw more diving enthusiasts to the area. 
and after several additional creepy sculptures were submerged, they were soon overcome with sea life, making the seafloor of the Anapa Coast look like a nightmare come to life. The eerie exhibition is complete with the franchise's cryo capsules and even the eggs of the parasitic facehuggers from Ridley Scott's sci-fi masterpiece. Turns out space isn't the only place where no one can hear you scream. So I think I'll be staying on dry land for now. What's the scariest thing you've ever encountered in the ocean? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks for watching.